Hello. Today we're going to talk about sessions in PHP. So I'm going to keep this really introductory, really short. Basically, uh, sessions are pretty easy to implement. It's not the easiest syntax, but they are pretty simple to, to utilize. Now, using them effectively and consistently, that's a little bit more difficult. And there are some larger projects that you can do with sessions, but just good old-fashioned sessions, there's kind of just two things. First thing, probably the most important thing, is in PHP, the first thing you need to do is call this function session start. All right, every page on your website that uses sessions needs to have that call to that session start function. It's not case sensitive. It can be done in lowercase, but I always do it in uppercase. Um, so let's talk about what sessions are. So anyways, that's step one. That's got to be on the top of every page. Once you have that on the top of every page, then you can use sessions on every page. Sessions are used to implement stateful HTML. So they like a good example, the classic example of a session would be you go to a page, you log in. Once you're logged in, right, it re the website remembers that you're logged in and you're able to visit other pages on that site. Another classic example of a session would be maybe a shopping cart where you add a product to your your cart, go to a new page, add another product to your cart, click on checkout, and all that stuff's there, right? You're saving information. In normal web development, there is no stateful nature to any of the pages. Every page is just a new page. So that's what sessions are, all right? And that's the magic function. Once you have that, it is a super global, so it's dollar sign underscore session, and then square brackets. And so this is kind of like get or post or server. And in here, I mean, what you you have access to this once you've got the session start function. Then just can make up a name like you name. I don't know. It's whatever you want to call it. This field is whatever you call it, and assign it a value, whatever you want to assign it. There you go. I have created a session variable called you name and gave it a value of Ken. You could have a whole bunch of them. You could have twenty session variables if you wanted to. Um, you could have this is an array so you can do a multi-dimensional array you can do whatever you want that's a session variable so what would I do with that I guess if I wanted to do something with it I'd probably do something like this don't shine underscore session <clears throat> it's kind of annoying to write but that's all there is to it now you can't echo that out but what I can echo out is something like user name and since this is an array this has to be wrapped in a curly brace. And so now, if I load up this page, this is the weirdest demo ever. I don't see any other way to start the discussion, though. So I started sessions, created a session variable, gave it a value. Now I'm going to print it out. This is weird because it's just there. Uh, if I refresh this page, username Ken. Right? I don't know how interesting that is, but if you're following, you can see I created this session variable, and now it's... And now I've now I've got access to it. Now let me show you the value of this. So the cool part comes when I create a new page with PHP. And uh, how about this? I'm gonna try and print that out on a new page, right? It makes sense that if you create a variable and assign a variable on that page, you're gonna have access to it. But where sessions are valuable is in a situation like this, where you want to access that same session data on a different page. So let me save this. Uh, stuff.php I'm gonna open this up sorry it's not gonna go real smooth oh it did okay that's good sorry you, I've reached the point where I don't like showing you all this behind the scenes stuff so notice that didn't work right undefined variable session well it's kind of a trick I made a mistake when I was doing it just to prove a point so it didn't quite work you gotta notice well you know what I'm missing don't you I'm missing that right I said you have to have that if you don't have that, then you can't access the session information. Now I head over to this page, and I refresh, and you can see it remembers my name's Ken, right? It remembers my name's Ken here and here, and that is kind of a big deal. And so you can see how you could use that to create like a login. Shopping carts are kind of the same idea, but they do get more complicated, but uh, that's how you implement sessions. And so being smart about it, finding ways to make these things happen, that's kind of an interesting part of the process. Also, ending a session is another topic, but uh, more or less, that is all you need to implement sessions. You can do a better job with this, but that is a, that's a possible way to use them. Thanks for watching.